Um, I took a couple surveys uh, going throughout the process, but any type of like formal meetings, you know, it was kind of quiet for me going into that. Um, my main focus was just performing on this day. You know, I didn't really get invited to a bowl or the combine. You know, that's where most of those guys really get to have those interviews and, you know, get a head start. Um, but, you know, I was training, working hard, and just putting all my time and effort into having a great day today. So that's what I was focused on. Thank you. Um, I would say a little bit of both. Um, you know, I've always been the underdog. Uh, not getting an invite to, like, any type of bowl game or the draft. You know, you just look at it, you just nod your head, like, okay. Um, you take it as motivation, but I've always been an inside-out kind of guy, you know. I just worry about the things I can control, worry about the things I can handle. And, you know, you go out there and you dominate with the things you can control, and everything else will just handle itself, you know. I just try and do it the best I can with everything that I'm given. Um, I went back to uh, Virginia. Um, it's a funny story. Uh, so growing up, uh, I went to private school for about two years at Bishop Sullivan Catholic. And that's where I met um, my trainer. He was our strength coach. And his name is Vernon Griffith. Um, you can look him up on social media. He's a big movement guy, specialist, all types of crazy whatnot exercises. And uh, he's really good at what he does. Um, it's crazy because you know, I just knew him as my strength coach. And then I look back, and, you know, he's checking on me throughout uh, my college career here. And I look back on his Instagram page, he got like hundreds and thousands of followers. I'm like, whoa, you blew up, didn't you? So, you know, he's he's really locked in. You know, uh, during my time here, I had a lot of trouble with like hip flexor growing issues. Um, so I thought, uh, why not just go back home and train with one of the best guys I knew my body, you know, growing up. So I went back home. I did a lot of rehabbing um, to start off with. And, you know, we called it bullet, bulletproofing your hips, uh, just getting them nice and healthy, nice and mobile. And then after that, we went after it, you know, training-wise. Um, I had put, put together my own little super team back in Virginia where I grew up. I was training with Vernon Griffith. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, shout out to my guy Brandon Trusty also for all of my DB work and other movements as well, lifting. Uh, Matthew Talley, man. Uh, my trainer from high school as well, he got, did all of my treatment stuff. Uh, so it was good to go back home and just like use the people that believed in me from the beginning, you know? Uh, just going back home and just feeling all the love and the foundation, all the things that, you know, brought me to Clemson. And, you know, just putting all that work in with them. Uh, I was literally rooming with one of my homeboys from high school. He let me stay at his crib. So just, it was a whole team put together that just really, uh, was there to help, you know, in a time like this. Uh, and it turned out great. Got a lot of great workouts in, got a lot of great time in, you know, felt that family environment back at home. My aunt was making my dinners, was eating a lot more vegetables than usual, you know, changed up my diet and all types of good stuff. But I'll let y'all know something. I'm excited to get some wings after this. I'll, I'll lie to you not. <laughs> now, speaking of family, you have a huge family support that has come today. What does that mean to be able to have your family have this experience with you? It means everything to me. Um, very tight family where I come from. Um, you know, to have my mom here, like my mom, she would drive back and forth. Back when we were staying in Virginia, she would drive back and forth. She didn't miss a home game throughout my five years here, whether it was like an emergency or something. For her to get here, you know, my uncle, my little nephew was here as well. Um, my girlfriend was here. And just having that type of, type of love and, you know, just knowing that they're there with me, you know, I lost my father when I was two, so it's been like me, my mom, and my brothers growing up, and that was just, you know, all we, all, all we knew, all we had, all we got. So just for them to be here and just support me throughout, throughout the whole process, like from the bowl game up to now, they've been with me every step of the way. You know, my father's watching down on me; he's been with me every step of the way as well. So it's been good, and I'm, I'm thankful. I'm pretty sure my brothers will be here too, but you know, they got work to do. My little brother, he's. He's playing baseball, doing his thing right now. My older brother's working, you know, taking care of his family. So, but they sent their love and their prayers this morning. So it feels good to, you know, just have everybody reaching out, just showing that love. Yeah, that's why I go out there and do what I do, you know, to show the ones I love that I care for them and I appreciate them caring for me. You know, like I said, we all we got and we all we need. So that family, family's huge to me and I appreciate them.
<laughs> I would say check out Vernon Grippa's Instagram to see how to bulletproof your hips. A lot of mobility, um, hip rocking back and forth, a lot of crazy movements that you wouldn't even think of. But, you know, it get, gets it strong, gets it well. Uh, and I believe my hips are bulletproof. So <laughs> thankful for help.